Well, vandals are hitting the streets of Santa Fe again in the fight over what they believe should happen to monuments that some consider culturally insensitive. Let's get to News 13's Brady Wakayama. Yesterday was the 341st anniversary of the Pueblo Revolt, and vandals struck a couple monuments around the city. Supporters of the monuments say the mayor isn't doing enough to protect them. Our mayor um, seems to agree with the philosophy of the people that come and vandalize our town, that spray painted this, that think that this is a symbol of oppression and evil. These are the images of some of the vandalism that took place throughout Santa Fe yesterday, which included people defacing the Cross of the Martyrs and vandals putting red handprints on the barriers covering the monument outside the federal courthouse. Rags with the year 1680 on them were also placed near where the obelisk used to stand in the plaza. Mayor Alan Weber says backers of the monuments then scrawled graffiti supporting Don Diego de Fargas. Mayor Weber says this is not what Santa Fe is about. He still won't say if he'll remove the various monuments and statues in question, pointing once again to a drawn out process he launched last year. Go to the city of Santa Fe's website and look at something called CHART. CHART stands for Culture, History, Art, Reconciliation, and Truth. And it is a process for people to get involved in their own community's future. He did say in the future he'd like to see more monuments honoring teachers and farmers instead of warriors or generals. No one was cited or arrested in yesterday's wave of vandalism. Back to you. The city already cleaned up the vandalism on the cross of the martyrs.